We are all gears and cogs in a magnificent machine. When we do our part, the machine runs smoothly. But when you start inventing parts that don't fit together, the machine breaks. Where did you find that? It was wedged in one of the mine shafts. 150 years ago, the outside world was destroyed by technology, change, and worst of all, creativity. He wanted me to find this. He wants me to solve the puzzle. Here, in the city of cold, we will never be threatened by change or by new ideas. Anyone caught inventing will be punished in the most drastic of manners. They found us! Run! What is this? Vinny has been with the organization for seven years. Yeah, and he's been fixing the books for six. <laughs> They're lying. Hey. They say that you've been taking more than your share. I take my 15%, just like everyone else. Yeah, you see? He's just trying to take care of his family. Fat Charlie, he's getting 15. The meatball, he's getting 15. Why not Vinny? We are moving into legit businesses. And legit businessmen do not break the fingers of their associates. Bob the Bagel ain't gonna like this at all. You know that Bagel makes a lot of money off of them horses. Yeah, well, he's gonna have to learn to like selling Buicks. Because that's his new line. He would rather sell some men's shoes. Telling you we don't do that no more. Now we're one big family here, including the associates. We got customers to take care of. Little grandmothers who uh, drive Buicks. Look, we're gonna teach them, then we're gonna teach them to like it. Yeah, who's gonna do the teaching? I'll teach. You're gonna teach. Yeah, I'll teach every single one of them. We'll bring them all here. Oh. Yeah, that's it. All in the same room kind of training. We'll be like the legit guys. Competition is hot right now. I don't care about the competition. I'll break the finger. Oh, wow. Yeah, now you're talking. So the Air Force releases a report that my plane exploded over the Pacific while I go through East Berlin to Moscow. To do? Whatever's necessary to destabilize the nation. Three years, we exfiltrate you. And then the story is Lucky Pilot ejected from his jet before it blew and washed ashore on a tiny island. Finally rescued. And your family's grief will be replaced with a greater joy than they've ever known. Okay. While I'm gone, who watches over them? Lieutenant Milligan. Nice to meet you. My name's Whittison. Jesse, you're not here because you're in trouble. Then what do you want? I feel like I should apologize. I may have been a little bit tougher on you this term than I should have. This is about my essay. Jesse, just let me speak. Um, oh, the paper is great, by the way. Uh, in fact, it's wonderful. I, it's the greatest work that I've seen you do. The, um, the personal loss you experienced. Well, I had no idea. It couldn't have been easy for you to write this. But I'm glad you did. I feel like I understand you better now. So you read an essay and now you understand everything that I'm going through. Mr. Richards, you don't know me. Well, maybe not, but I, I... I just wanted you to know that if you ever needed somebody to talk to... Why would I want to talk to you? Yeah, I know. I didn't know where my brothers were. I had an address on a letter. But then when I went there, they'd moved. But then I, I, I found this man who knew the name Krichinsky. He was a little man with big shoes. I'll never forget him. He had such big shoes. Uh, they were brand new, beautiful, beautiful shoes. 
I'll never forget him. He told me that that's how he made his living. Breaking in the shoes of wealthy people. <laughs> he had to stuff them with newspaper and walk around in them. I said, what a place this is where the wealthy don't even have to break in their own shoes. Well, so this man with the, uh, with the shoes, he, he took me down one street after another. We walked and walked, and the sky would light up in this great celebration of fireworks. And then we came to Avalon. And the man with the shoes, he yelled, Krasinski! Krasinski! And then my four brothers, they looked down. And they, they saw me. Sam! And that's when I came to America. It was the 4th of July. Man, did they know how to celebrate back then. <laughs>